So if you have been thinking about selling print on demand products with Etsy, but you just don't know how to really start from beginning to end to list your first product in today's video, I'm going to try to share with you as quickly as possible. The main steps you need to take to actually start your Etsy shop, connect your printify account and start listing your first product on Etsy. I'm sure that's all with you coming up next. So welcome back to the video, my friends. You're new here, my name is Jay. On this channel, I teach you how to make passive income online by creating and selling your own products. And so if you like content like this, then consider subscribing to my channel. And we're gonna take a deep dive into how to actually start selling print on demand with Etsy. And one of the main platforms that we're gonna use in connection with Etsy is Printify. Printify is my number one print on demand partner as they have so many things you can sell in regards to what products you want to create. And they have so many options in regards to what print partner you want to go with. Being that there's so many print partners, you have so many options in regards to shipping time, even down to the product cost and what type of colors they have for their product. Again, this gives you so many options for you to really hand select what print provider you want to go with and make sure that you are creating a product you think will be great for the Etsy marketplace. Now, Printify also have the premium plan where you're able to save a couple dollars on every single product you purchase. And so again, the whole goal of selling print on demand products is to try and increase your profits as much as possible. And jumping on their premium plan will actually do that for you. So I make sure I leave all the links down to Printify and my description box below if you want to sign up with them and check it out on your own. So what is print on demand? Print on demand is where you are able to sell physical items to your customers without necessarily touching those items or shipping those things out from your location. You're able to select print partners that can actually do all the heavy lifting for you. They hold all the inventory, do all the printing, the packaging, the shipping, as well as doing the tracking to make sure your product is delivered to your customer. The only thing you have to focus on is making sure you are leveraging whatever platform you're on. In our case, it is Etsy and you are creating a product that people enjoy. Once you create that product, you are able to upload that to whatever print on demand product you want to sell and then start listing that product on Etsy. This is a great way for you to make passive income because you don't necessarily have to touch every item that you sell. You just have to focus on leveraging whatever search volume you are using with regards to Etsy and making sure you are creating a design that people enjoy and making sure you are creating a product that you know will sell. So as I have already stated, one of the main platforms we're going to use for this is Etsy. So if you have not set up your Etsy account, you can sign up for Etsy down in my description box below. So Etsy wants you to upload your first product. And what I tell people, just upload a basic image here because the goal is to connect our Printify account to our Etsy shop so that when someone actually clicks and purchases one of our products, it can be streamlined over to our print providers where they're able to ship those things out to our customers. So you want to sign up with Etsy, pick a shop name, list your first product just as an image, and you want to go ahead and create your Printify account. Now Printify is cool because they have so many different plans you can use to save money. But for right now, if you just want to go ahead and get started, you can select their free version. This gives you access to all of their products and their catalog, and you are still able to sell any of these print on demand products on Etsy. Once you have created your Printify account, you want to connect that to your Etsy shop. So now that we have all those beginning steps out of the way, let's move on to our next one how to use Etsy to sell print on demand products with Printify. So the number one thing you wanna do before you even create a product is do product and keyword research. This is extremely important because this is gonna help you actually figure out what designs you are going to create and what products you are going to sell. So I believe you should always prove the market before you actually design a product. So our goal here is first to do product research. You just wanna go and search up a particular key phrase that you know you want to sell and actually see how many best sellers are coming up for that item. If you see multiple best selling products are coming up, then you want to focus on things that you know are actually selling well for other people. Now, the goal here is not to copy, but to merge all of these key features into your own original design. Now, I did a whole video on keyword research. I'll make sure I leave that down in my description box below. But again, you want to prove the market before you design your product. This goes along with keywords because this is how people are going to find your product. So usually when you find the best selling items, those best selling items are also tied to best selling keywords. You want to gain some information in regards to what keywords they are using. And then you want to focus on creating designs that's matching well with that keyword. So that means if they are creating a dog mug, then you want to make sure that you have dog mug in your title, but also create a dog mug so that the title can actually match with the product. 
the goal here is that you want your title and your keywords to match exactly what you are selling so that when someone type this in, they are getting exactly what they are searching for. So from there, you are able to move to the next step and actually create your design. So being that we have already did our product research and keyword research, we know that we are going to sell whatever product we have searched up in our case today. We're going to go ahead and sell a t-shirt as this is the easiest thing you can do to actually get started selling on Etsy. So from here, we're going to jump into Canva and we're going to create our t-shirt design. Canva is a great place for you to create your print on demand products. They have so many options in regards to fun styles, design styles, elements, and images you can add to your product. Now, one major thing here is that I always tell people that when you create a print on demand product, you want to make sure you have a white text version and a black text version. This will give you the ability to actually lay up your design on different color products without going back and trying to fix all that later on. You want to make sure you have both text versions so you can have multiple options of different color products you can sell. So when you save your product, you want to save it in two file formats. The first one is SVG. The reason why we want to save this as an SVG file is because this will not lose any image quality, no matter how large we made the image or how small we make it. This now has become a vector file that we can actually upload to Printify and use this on our product. Now, depending on what software you use to actually mock up your images to actually showcase them on Etsy, I believe the PNG version is great to do this. I personally use Placeit as my mock-up program for me to showcase my designs and place it uses the PNG version of whatever design I create to lay upon whatever mock-up I choose. So just check whatever mock-up software you use to make sure you are downloading the proper file. Now, as you are downloading these from Canva, you want to make sure you are hitting the transparent background button as this will remove whatever background you have started creating your designs on. You want to set the background to be transparent for the SVG version as well as the PNG version of your file. Now let's jump over to Printify. I'm going to share with you how to actually upload this design to your product. Now, as soon as you connect your Printify account to your Etsy shop and start selecting your products you want to sell, you will start seeing that there are a ton of different print providers you can actually select. Now, what's good about Printify is that they give you so many options about people you can choose. And so one of the things I look for is, okay, what is the shipping time? What is the product cost? What is the shipping cost? And what different versions they have of the product in regards to size and color. They also have ratings for every print provider. And so you know which ones are doing well and which ones are not. Now, two print providers that are actually popular with print on demand is Monster Digital and Swift POD. However, whatever product category that you're selling in, you actually want to look and make sure that they have good reviews in regards to their products. From here, you want to go ahead and select whatever print provider you want to use. Now you're able to go to the next step where you have some information in regards to your title, your descriptions, your price point, and uploading your design to your product. Now from here, I'm able to move and upload my design to my product. Now, this is where having a white text version and the black text version come in handy. This is where we're able to sell different color products on our Etsy shop. So one of the main things I want to focus on is making sure I am uploading my designs the proper way and placing them on my product the proper way. You can go into your device and upload your design. Now you see we have this little box here. This is letting us know that anything inside that box is going to print. However, anything outside of that box will not print. Now, being that we have a vector file, it doesn't matter how large or small we make it, it will always keep the perfect image quality, but we want to make sure that we are actually keeping this inside of the proper frame so that it can print for our print provider. Now, from here, you're also able to select different color t-shirts. Now, in our case today, we're just going to select a black t-shirt just to share with you exactly why it is important to have different type of styles in regards to your design. Again, that black text version and that white text version. And this is the reason so that when I actually upload my design, I can actually see it on that color t-shirt. Now, being that we are creating this design on a black t-shirt, I don't want the same design I have for my white t-shirt on my black t-shirt. I'm going to go into my option here and make sure that this product has a specific design. So I'm gonna bring over my white text version and lay this on my black t-shirt. So this is the steps you wanna do if you want to have a different type of design for your product, as opposed to what we use as the original design for our white t-shirt. So everything looks good here. We have our white text version, our black text version for our design. We can go into preview and actually see how this is going to look for our customer. From here, we wanna go ahead and save. And before we publish this, we wanna just give some more information to this product before we upload this to Etsy. So we're gonna go ahead and click on this product and we wanna actually go to the pricing. Printify actually has this as a 40% profit margin, but I'm always a fan of increasing that because I know that I'm going to run daily sales in my shop. So I tried to increase this somewhere to 70%, 
for all of my products and i can easily do this by clicking this button here and it selects all and i can actually change the profit margin for every single product and again i want to push this over to 70 percent and this helps me because i know i'm going to run a daily percent off in my store that's going to reflect the increase of my percent for every single product so again i'm still going to be profitable but i'm still able to entice that buyer with having a sale so from here, all of my pricing looks well. I can go ahead and save this and head back over to my descriptions and my title. Now from here, again, I just wanna have a generic title because all the SEO work I'm going to do in Etsy in regards to the description, I think it's good for you to create your own default description talking about key points of all of your products. This can include the size, shipping time, the variations, the quality of the shirt, how to take care of the product and any additional information you believe will be helpful for the customer. Now having this description as well as our price point already in place, is gonna be easy for us the next time we upload a product because all we have to do is duplicate this listing and then bring in a new design. Now, one thing I personally do is I click the hide and store button and then upload this to my Etsy shop. And the reason for that is there's still more things I have to do to actually get this product ready to be launched on my shop. So I don't want to publish this and not being fully complete i want to go ahead and actually hide this in my store so i can work on the seo and upload my mock-up images later so that i can have a complete listing once i fully upload this to my shop now we come to our final point with the etsy listing now connecting your printify to your etsy shop actually did a lot of work for you in regards to your listing to your pricing to your variations it has all been filtered through Printify, so that part is done for you. However, one of the main things you want to make sure you do is select your print provider. And you should have done that already when you connect your Etsy shop. However, you want to select this for your product so that people know who is your print provider and where it is coming from. In my case today, I actually have a custom shipping profile, but I'm still going to select Swift POD. Now with our photos, if you're trying to find great mockups for your products, Etsy is always a great place to find these things, but you can also use Placeit to upload your designs as well. I can move over to my title where I will actually add some great keywords that would drive traffic to my shop. I can move over to my description where again, we see everything is moved over from Printify. I can add in some more SEO in the beginning of my description. And I can add in my tags here to actually drive more people to my shop. Now, Etsy does have some more options if you want to use those things to drive more traffic to your shop. But as an example today, I think everything is set well here. And from here, I can go ahead and hit publish so this can be ready to sell on my Etsy shop. And of course, Etsy would charge you 20 cents for every listing. So as you can see, my listing is visible where people can purchase this product on my Etsy shop. All of the variations are there as well as the different price point that is related to the size of the shirt. The only thing you have to do here is just provide great customer service if your customer has any questions regarding their purchase. So as you can see, getting started with print on demand is extremely easy if you just know the step-by-steps -step you need to take to actually get started. Now, I think this is a great place for you to actually get started making passive income online as Etsy is already driving a ton of people to their platform. Now, in today's video, I didn't have time to talk about how to actually drive organic traffic to your Etsy shop. So I did an entire video teaching you exactly how to drive organic traffic to your Etsy shop with using the right keywords for your product. So if you want to learn the next steps to that video, make sure you click this video here. And if you want to learn more about how to make passive income online, then consider subscribing to my channel here. As always, my friends, my name is Jay, and I will see you in the next video.